New Year's Day 2016 and I am taking you on a little tour of NEO Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College. Um, I grew up in this town. I did not go to this college. Um, we always, this college is, it's small. It's a, a junior college, I guess, or a two-year college. Um, everyone always thought well of this place. Um, I'm just giving you a little tour. I don't know a whole lot about it. But um, it's well thought of. It's I think it's a good college. Um, they are they seem to be very sports sports centric. You can tell by how much uh, land they dedicate to both football and baseball over there. It's almost the same amount of land goes to that as the, as to the buildings as you noticed as you drove around. Um, as for academics, I couldn't tell you much about that. This is just a look and feel kind of video. Um, all right. Uh, also, the football field's real nice, and they, just so you know, they share it with the high school. I remember I was in band in high school, and we would come to this field at the college, which was much better, which they've upgraded, by the way, big time, and our games would be here at this college, because we didn't have a football field, but here we go. It would be Shipley Hall. You can see that, you know, as we drove around, this college is pretty small. That's Osborne Lab Science, it says over there. You know, you could walk from one end to the other in five minutes, which we're about to do. I need some exercise anyway. Football field's on the, I guess that would be east, north. This is the main hall here, the main hallway where all the buildings are. And there's the student union. It's pretty nice. Okay. So we're here. Student union's right there. And then I'm pretty sure this is not. That's not north. Uh, that seems to be north that way. But campus police, Cunningham Hall. You're here. The football field, and we're at the student center here. Fine arts. Dobson Hall, Van Hall, Central Avenue goes, that goes to the high school, and that goes to the city. That says Commons Hall. If you were to go to college here or do go, I'm sure finding your building is really easy. You can pretty much stand in the middle right here and look around and find it. That's the Fine Arts Building. I can tell you that also in band, we would do our concerts there, our Christmas concerts uh, from high school. So the high school shares a lot of the stuff here. It's winter, so that is drained. It's nice, clean campus. That's the, there's a swimming pool in there and that's like the sports basketball arena, I believe. I'm not sure if these are the dorms or not. It says game room down there. It looks a little dingy. I gotta ask, what on earth is this? Aggie Alley. It's like a playground. This is a definitely a small town. Uh, like I said, I grew up here and it feels, it always was a small town to me. As a kid, I was bored here. I wanted to get out, but now I really like being here because it's just got the, I mean, look, there's, this, is new, this is New Year's Day and there's just no traffic, nobody's here. It's very calm, very calm. I like calm, so, um, and this is, there's no students here now, so it's not gonna always be like this, but 
small town feel. That's what this is. Across the street, Wesley Student Center, Methodist Ministry. It says administration building. This is along the road here. It's Christian Student Fellowship. Library and administration. <laughs> I have a funny memory. When I was about nine, for some reason I was here. And I, this looked different, but I was sitting there and I put my hand on that light, a light that was shining on him, and I burned my hand and it hurt more than anything ever. It burned for like 12 hours. All night long I was up because I burned my hand on this light. If you like churches, they got a lot of them. Right across the street from the college, church, Christian Fellowship, another church, Wesley Church. Right now it is Sunday, so there's people in church. Miami Friends Church, Miami. Sorry, you have to say it, Miami. I always resisted that when I lived here. I didn't think it was right. <laughs> now I don't care. When I was growing up, they didn't lock off the football field. You used to just be able to walk out there and run laps around the track, but now they've done all this crap and they locked it off. It's very disappointing when they do that because it's just a field, you know. People pay a lot of money to come here and use this, and then they're just so terrified of the public, I guess, that they feel the need to lock the field. I guess my, my gut would tell me that if you're if you can't trust the local population to use a public football field, I mean, that's not public, but use a football field in public for some reason, you don't trust them, then should you even have it? So here we are at this very locked down football field that nobody can use unless they decide you can. And they open it up only for football players and that's it. It's a pretty field, but it's as far as I'm concerned, it's useless. I think there's a swimming pool in there. There used to be. I'd love to walk out there and just kind of look around, but nope. 